Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. So today I'm going shopping to get my mum's stocking fillers. We've never really done stockings in my household, like it's never been a thing. We kind of just have the presents under the tree and then the stockings either aren't up or they're up for decoration. But my mum's been talking about filling mine and my brother's stocking and there is no way on earth I'm letting her have an empty stocking. So we're going shopping to buy her some stocking fillers. I actually don't know what you put in stockings. I'm guessing just like small little things that obviously fit in stocking. So we're kind of just going to be strolling and trying to find stocking stuffers for my mum. I'm so obsessed with it today. I think it looks so cute. Also, here's the fit. I'm just wearing a white t-shirt with this really cute pink lacy dress. And I'm wearing pink Converse to match it. These are new. I love them. Okay, well, I'm in Maya. Thought I'd start off in here. Sometimes they have like little knickknacks laying around that say like perfect stocking filler. Mm, let's go down a level. I think there's going to be more if I go down a level. This seems like mostly clothing and a lot of men's clothing, to be honest. I hate vlogging in public, it's really scary. See, they've got some really cute, like, jewelry pieces. Although my mom's not a big jewelry wearer, so probably not. That would have been easy, but. Maybe like a new purse, that could be nice. She likes her purses to have lots of different, like, compartments. Wait, this isn't bad. The price is bad. It's very expensive, maybe not. It's like a hundred dollars. Not for a stocking filler. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, these little bags are so cute. But she's not into bags either. She's got her handbag that she likes and that's what she uses. I don't know what to get her. She's not easy to shop for. Ooh, she loves claw clips. Like I could get her like one of these nice claw clip sets. She likes the more rounded ones because they don't hurt her head as much. They don't have many round ones here, so I might go somewhere else, but I think I'm definitely gonna get her a claw clip just because she uses them all the time. I'm going down another level, but I have a feeling this is all just kid stuff. Is it? I think it is. Wow, that was a bad call by me. I wanted to like see if there was any like cute kitchenwares, like little mugs or something, but this is just all kids. Okay, so the stuff I was looking for is like three levels up. It's on level two and I was on lower ground. I can't be really going all the way up. It's like three levels up. Okay, so I'm gonna go to TK Maxx, which is so funny, because I used to hate TK Maxx. It's kind of like my favorite place ever. They have so many cute things. So I'm gonna go and check there first before I go anywhere else, because I feel like I'm gonna find quite a bit there. And I don't wanna like double up and like see stuff there that I got somewhere else. And be like, oh damn, I should have gotten it from here. See, they have like the cute circular claw clips. Or like, I think these ones might be better these ones back here okay yeah no I'm not getting claw clips from here I'm gonna find good claw clips my brother would like this but I've already gotten him his presents I was thinking of getting her like a nice big mug but she's very very particular about the mug she likes like they have to have a very thin lip kind of like this one but this is the very best uncle so not for my mum Ooh, is this too big though it's, oh, uh, the, the lip is a bit thick. She won't like it. No, there's none there. I don't know what to get as stocking fillers. This isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I also really need to get my bangs cut. They're really long and they're in my eyes, <laughs> but it's fine. I really thought I would get lucky in here and that I'd find like a bunch of stuff, but I'm not having any luck. <laughs> there's actually surprisingly a lot of kids stuff in here. Back up to the main shopping center we go, because I had no luck in there. As much as I love TK Maxx, it's honestly quite a hit or miss. You either find everything you wanted and more, or you find nothing. But either way, there's always some good bargains. My mum used to wear these Pandora bracelets all the time. She doesn't anymore, but if she did, I could have gotten her like one of these cute little charms. See, mum, you should wear your Pandora bracelet. I almost forgot, but I also have to buy my dad a Christmas present. I think I know what I'm getting him, but at the same time, I don't really know. I have an idea. We'll see if they've got my idea in stock. But I'm in Kmart now. Love Kmart. Maybe I'll find something quirky and silly that she'll like. Probably not. Uh, do they have any cool clips? Like cute little cool clips? I have this and I love it. Oh, wait, these are perfect. Oh. Maybe I could get her some like fluffy slippers, wait. 
they actually feel awful to stand on. They're like rock solid. What one should I get? Oh my God, they've got cows. No, she's not gonna like the cows. <laughs> but I like the cows. Should I get the cows for me? I think like these, I don't know if you like them though. Like, I think these are cool. Do they have, you know what, YOLO, we're getting at these. Gingerbread houses, this is what I need. I need gingerbread houses. Um, I'm just gonna go to the Kmart in my house to get gingerbread houses, because apparently they have heaps. Do they have fluffy socks? I wanna get a fluffy socks. So let's see if they've got, I don't think they've got fluffy socks. They don't, <laughs> they absolutely don't. Okay, this isn't for my mum, but I was walking past this shop and I found this dress and it's 20% off. It's so pretty. I feel like a princess. I feel like Princess Peach. I, I really kind of want to get a Christmas present for me. I'm so bad. I, uh, this is horrible. This is my favorite little Christmas store. It is so adorable and it's so Christmassy. Like, look how beautiful these little things are. They're actually adorable. They're so cute. And like, I dream to have a Christmas tree like this. It's, it's gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty in here. It's also ridiculously expensive in there, so I left. But I want to try and find my mum some like little makeup stuff or like skincare stuff. So there was nothing in Sephora, but I'm gonna go to Mecca because I prefer Mecca and I prefer their products. And I feel like I saw a lot of things in Sephora that I would get her, but they didn't have the exact like right thing. I'm thinking of getting her a little mini eyeshadow palette as well. Sephora had like these stackable ones that were really cute, but they didn't have like the right shades, none of the shades she would wear. So um yeah, let's let's try Mecca. Like a cute little palette, like one of these ones. I don't know whether to get that one or that one. I think I might get that one. There we go. I don't know whether I should get this one, which is a dollar extra, or this one. I just don't know what shade she would like better. I feel like she would like these, but they don't have a tester. But I think I'm gonna get this one instead. So I'm in tea too, and my mom and I love our tea, so I thought I'd try out this caramel brownie one. It smells so good when I just smelled the tester. Um, don't know how it's gonna taste, but it smells amazing. So thought I'd grab it for her to try out. All right, here's what I'm getting my dad for Christmas. Um, I actually don't know what to get him, and he loves Star Wars, so I think this is really funny and like niche, and he'll like it. I hope he likes it. So I'm at Kmart right now to get gingerbread houses, and my friend messaged our group chat like not even two hours ago, being like, I went to Kmart and they didn't have any. Oh my god, I just got side eyed by this girl. I don't really care. I'm never gonna see her again. It's fine. I was like, Kmart don't have any gingerbread houses. Like, there's none there. There's none there. I walk in here. They had heaps. So I got the gingerbread houses. <laughs> but yeah, that was a little bit awkward in the group chat. I messaged like, um, what are you on? I literally found them. They had heaps. And she was like, there's none there. Yes, there is some there. Okay, I was going to get this one at the other shopping center I was at, but they only had the four reindeers like this. Like, they were missing that one. So I came to my local shopping center and I was going to get it. But they also have this little snowflake one. And now I don't know what one to get. Or do I get her a little, like, tea light candle decoration for the table? Like, that's pretty. Or, like, this little bauble is also really cute. I don't know what to get now. They've got so much more here. Oh, this little Rudolph. He's very cute. Or Santa. Or... Wait, these are really cute. I think I like these. I th these are just so pretty and like they give like a really pretty like glow everywhere. But I don't know whether to get the snowflake or the reindeers because I feel like all of these will just get put away too fast. Although I do really like the bauble, like this little guy. I think I'm going to get this one. I don't know, this is hard. I think I'm going to get the bauble because I think it's really cute. But I also like Rudolph, but I feel like... Rudolph, you can't put a candle in. The bauble, you can put like a nice scented candle in. Okay, my bad, sorry guys. It's time for the haul. This lighting is not the best, but I can't be bothered setting up my ring light because it's actually broken and it's a pain to just set up. Anyways, let's give a haul of everything I got. This was a big shopping trip and my arms were hurting by the end of it and so was my bank account. <laughs> All right, where should we start? So I went to Kmart and I got gingerbread house kits for tomorrow because I'm going to my friend's house. We're having a gingerbread house making party. So I got one for myself and then I got a kit for my friend who said that they had none at Kmart and they had, they had plenty. 
Then I got wrapping paper to wrap everything. I just got some fun Christmassy patterns on some craft paper. Usually I just use craft paper and then use nice ribbons and all the rest of it, which some people might think is boring. I think it's cute, but I got some fun festive craft paper. <laughs> I then got this birthday cake lip balm from MCO Beauty because it was on sale and I've wanted to try it for a while so I treated myself. Then I got my dad's Christmas present and I got him a Star Wars toaster. My dad really likes Star Wars and I had no idea what to get him. Like at all. It's really hard to buy a gift for someone you don't know. I don't really see my dad and I don't really talk to my dad. Um, so I didn't really know what to get him, but I know he likes Star Wars, so... I got him a new toaster. Let me take off the sticker now, because I, um, forgot to take off... <laughs> I forgot to take off the sticker on one of my brother's presents, and I had to go downstairs, unwrap the present, and rewrap it. Because I forgot to take the sticker off. My bad. I took it off everything else, it was just that one present I forgot to take it off. There we go. Then I got my mum some fuzzy slippers. I couldn't find her fluffy socks, but I thought I would get some slippers that she could wear around the house. I also got her some claw clips. She prefers the round ones because they don't hurt her head as much. And then I got her this caramel brownie tea to try out. It just smelled really good in the shop. So I hope she likes it. I don't actually know what it tastes like. I've never tried it, but it smelled amazing. If she doesn't like the taste of it, I'll just put it in like little sheer fabric bags and just have it in my handbag to smell all the time. I also got her this tea stirrer. I have one myself and I love it. It's for loose leaf tea, which is what I got her. And you like scoop it up and you like stir it. It's amazing. I love mine, so I got her a matching one. Then I went to Coles to get dinner and I got her a few like lollies and snacks to put in her stocking. She loves bananas, like lolly bananas. So I got her some lolly bananas, <laughs> some Maltesers. I found this little box of little Cadbury treats. It's got classic milk and hazelnut and caramello, which I thought would be nice to have in her desk. Although I don't think she likes hazelnut. I'll have them, <laughs> it's fine. A block of caramel chocolate, which is one of her favorite chocolates, and some gum. Then I went to Mecca and I got her some nice makeup products. So I got her this Morphe palette. It's just got some natural neutral shades. She doesn't really buy any good eyeshadows, but she wears them every single day. So I thought it would be a nice stocking filler. And she also doesn't have any makeup brushes or eyeshadow brushes. So I got her an eyeshadow brush kit. And finally, she has auburn hair but she has the wrong color eyebrow pencil. Like she doesn't have any eyebrows or she does. They're just very, very light and you can't see them. So I got her an auburn eyebrow pencil so that it actually matches her hair. This one's for me. I needed a new beauty blender. So I just picked up one of my favorite beauty blenders, which is the Juno & Co microfiber velvet sponge. It's so nice. I also got some ribbon for my presents. Finally, I got this really cute candle holder. I need to get some candle lights actually. I should have gotten that while I was out. I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but it's got like glitter and it's like rose gold and white. I think it's adorable. And that is all for the stocking stuffers, except this one I think I'm gonna have to wrap and put under the tree separately because I just really love it and I know my mum will love it. But yeah, that's all for the haul. I was actually really surprised with how little people were at the shopping center for the time it was because I got on the bus around 4 p.m. So when I was in the shopping center, it was like after work hours. So I kind of thought that there would be a lot more people there buying gifts after work. And I thought since it's like the school holidays, there would be a lot more teens and stuff there, but it was actually quite quiet for Christmas, which was good. It was good for me. I was just really surprised with how unbusy it was. Like there wasn't that many people there, but I mean, no complaints. So I think that's all for today's video. Thank you for coming shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow I'm making gingerbread houses with my and having like a little friendsmas party. It's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So even though there's only like four days left of Vlogmas, if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.